Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Master of Orion Conquer the Stars with me, Get Daved. Ah yes. Things to do here. Never really did construct a planet, and we could actually use a space factory. So we'll try churning two of these out. We'll ship one through the stargate, or through the Jump gate, pardon me. I don't think we'll need any of this other stuff. Ah. I don't know. It could be worth having a little colony ship doing its thing. Repair some of the damage we've taken. Know me in despair. Borathi? You may think you haven't met me, but you have. I am death. There we go. Battle highlights. Pulse on missile. Alright, great to have that out of the way. Guy transformation could be kind of nice. Ship space plus 25%. A really good system. Yeah. Oh, but it only lasts 10 seconds. Okay, that drags it down a bit. Versus plus 50% energy weapon damage, but it's, it always uses loses out to mega fluxers because that's going to cut into the space you have for weapons. Yeah, high energy focus is good, but mega fluxers are just marginally oh, better. You do have to pay for it though. Spaceport, fantastic! They're made of money. Barely generating a profit here because we just don't have a huge population. But they do have artifacts, so we'll prioritize that sort of thing. And where's our data center? No? Okay. Oh, they're unassimilated. That's why they're being a jerk. Altair, that's fine. Again, I'm not in a rush to get deep sea cooling. Keep growing. And Hontes. This is interesting. Uh, I guess we could sneak terraforming into there. It's possibly not the front of a terrible war now, which would be a nice little treat. Probably won't need the jump gate. Man, they worked on this terraforming forever, and all to just live in a desert. Well, stick with what you know, guys. Stick with what you know. There we go, and the hydroponic farm will take over for that just fine. I think we're going to send it over there. Build a planet. Uh, 
Oh, no, I guess that's not an option. Well, we'll build that instead. Yeah, no, no, never mind. Here it is. I couldn't believe I didn't see it. All right. I'll be interested to see what happens. Gonna have a, at least one huge battle anyway. I don't think we're gonna need a space factory at Hake anymore. We will need a jump gate, though. Owing to its somewhat challenging location. Alright, they're gathering for a rumble, too. Perfect. Hope they come to meet me. Could be, uh... Alright, uh, we should get them there to start off. It could be a little problematic whenever we meet. Sorry, I can't afford to spend the money right now, and... Alright, rumble number one. Oh boy... And our first taste of ground batteries. Are they charging me? No, no. They were just adjusting their formation, I guess. No, that's not what I meant when I said that. Alright, they all want to whale on the Galactica, that's fine. No! Dirk 2! <laughs> Give yourself 10 good Dave points if you noticed his little suicidal journey. Oh, they're coming for me, that's fine. I wonder if it's going to pick a new target or something. Okay, can they enter torpedo range successfully? Yeah, you know what? We're just going to hang all the way back here. Really got to be careful. Pick a good location for a fight. Alright, we should have the separation we need. It's nice to see us shooting down their missiles for a change. Well, unlike the previous game, Numeric superiority is a really big deal on this one, which is good. It actually gives frigates some value, which is really nice to see. Speaking of value, star bases are terrible. So, I mean, I only had 50% more fleet strength than they did. But, I mean, what a one-sided victory. We lost a Dirk 2. Well. Maximum warp, boys. Maximum warp. Eight turns before we're going to be able to invade. It's what we call a bummer where I come from. Well, I mean, we could get that colony ship started. 
Ah, uh, you know what? I want you guys working on that for the time being. Well, one turn, fine. And I guess it should be a Mersion colony ship. It's been a while since we did this. We've had so much warfare for a while. Nice to do something a little positive for a change. Yeah, good. All the same race. Not that there's, you know, anything wrong with it not <laughs> being like that. I have no further comments. Man, I haven't seen a lot of these buildings in a while. All right, we'll start with that. And you know, we'll get a couple civil transports in there, I think. I mean, really load it up. Alright. They're just gorging themselves over there. Went that long without a hydroponic farm, I mean. Pretty questionable, deci questionable decision making from me. Alright, made a dent in the Marines. Looks like they're not going to come to me, that's logical. <sighs> they have numbers. I mean... Serious, serious numbers. This is a mostly up-to-date fleet, though. Like, they're relatively new. Boom, look at it. I think that there's a little bit of a grainy effect there. That was kind of impressive. Lead the charge. I mean, now it seems like we're doing damage okay. My goodness. It's more powerful than all the others combined. Oh my goodness. Like nothing. It meant nothing. Oh my goodness, that was cool. <laughs> More, please. All right, and by the way, it would be a lot more optimal if we didn't build all those civil transports right away. That was cool! Uh, <laughs> but uh, I just don't want to worry about it later. Okay, that was really, really successful. We should be able to uh, not have to worry about that soon. Look, Skylar! Hmm. Well, 
Well, a Titan would be pretty cool. And the Graviton Beam, I mean, it's expensive, but do I really want an I don't know what to do with that one. Yeah, let's get let's get battle stations. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Looking really good. We know how much I like these. So eight turns. You know, I'm actually going to move it over here. And I'm also going to build a space factory. We might need to keep our eye on the Cylons. What happened to the other troop transport? I'll take it. Oh, okay. He's cool. Uh, everything seems fine here. Good to hear. We'll try to placate these people. Where's my management center? Nice euphemism. I don't mind it at all. Crust prospecting. Oh yeah, for terrible places. Yeah, it's a nice way of equalizing the universally terrible poor and ultra-poor biomes or planets from... Uh, all of the previous Master of Orion games, honestly. Unload! Everybody have fun together! Okay, you're farming. A little friendly barter will help both our races thrive, don't you? Nope, I'm hoarding that one. Tis more important to me than my friendship with you. Do we have a game crash? That would be really sad. We've had some some exciting stuff here, but I think we yeah. We've had a crash of the game, everybody. Uh you know, let's just keep the episode going because it's early access. We'll see we'll see just how brutal this is. I've asked to shut it down and that's not going very successfully. Starbase was complete, that's useful. I wish there were a way to upgrade ships where you could choose to invest production or money. Right now you can only do money, which is um more in line with like endless space or that sort of thing. Might have to get a bit more assertive with shutting this thing down. There we go. Nothing a little in task can't do. All right, I believe it backs up every turn, so we should be able to just hit continue and it should be okay. And hey, you can see the intro. Thanks, Wargaming. I greatly appreciate the game. Uh, for early access, it's in a pretty good state. I would say it has slightly fewer bugs than I would expect. It's fewer than a couple finished games we've let's played, that's for sure. <coughs> but hey, they have the resources to do it right, and they did. They got, got a lot of great people in, a lot of the people who worked on the original two games. Um, the fiction writer they got, she read through like all of the, or a bunch of fanfic and all of the lore, the manuals of one, two, and three all had some interesting stuff in them, mostly two and three. The main thing I remember from the Master of Orion one manual was, uh, 
There we go, right where we left off. The main thing I remember was the pictures of the ships and their names as a form of anti-piracy. Which is kind of cute <laughs> when you look back on it now. My preferred anti-piracy method is... Uh, realistically, it's just when they are particular about um, like setting the price at a reasonable point and then frequent updates are also I think a really civil way of going about it because you don't want to get into a, well I don't know we'll just call it like a, a pissing match against pirates because it, it just never ends well Yeah, it really doesn't like dealing with that. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here, and maybe we'll see if we can figure out what's going on at that war point. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode.